And I'm back with the continuation of the celebration of Resident Evil's 25th anniversary. On this continuation, I'm sharing my previous experience with the beta of Resident Evil Resistance, another multiplayer experience similar to Outbreak that was initially bundled with the remake of Resident Evil 3. I've been playing the full game since, but I'd like to share what I've done before playing as one of the survivors, and perhaps another time, the mastermind. I want to address the elephant in the room before this match goes down. I had to wait almost entirely over five minutes before this match, and one of the masterminds in the last one got kicked out, thus causing everybody to be kicked out. I am not afraid. I was born to do this. I am not afraid. I was born to do this. So I've decided to choose Valerie because she seemed very intelligent and also has something that could be very beneficial to everybody in the match, such as being able to heal her partners when they're down, including herself. But that kind of confidence isn't enough because we don't know how the mastermind is going to treat everyone in this match and whether or not there'd be a lot of traps. I see a camera here, which means that I need to shoot this down like in Metal Gear Solid and also make sure that all of my teammates are in the right place, even though I'm not in charge, but it's deeply encouraged that we work together. Speaking of which, where the hell are my teammates now? I know I'm a bit behind. Oh, there they are. Okay, go oh, fuck! Metal Gear Solid made it clear that there's many of these. Don't find the place to use that. There is more fun I have. Fun for me, at least. Yeah, of course there would be more fun for you because you're the one that's trying to kill everybody! I think I can stop this camera for a while. It's not just cameras. We also have to evade traps! <laughs> Well, according to the game's programming, the key is repeatedly pressing one button. Also, why in the hell is the time constantly changing? All right, guys, I've made it. I won by pressing the action button. But now it's very vital that I start collecting items because they could be very useful in these terrible situations. It's weird that nobody has collected these except for me. Not exactly, because you're one of the main villains of this story. And I'm more worried about my teammates surviving. Double trap. Possibly death. Listen, you French fuck. We're already aware about what you're planning, and we're still going to prevail anyway because we're not incompetent pussies. Okay, now I just need to find out if there's any more items left so I can take them to the next stage. So that way, we won't have anything left behind. Because I personally think that it's illogical to not collect certain items that could benefit them and whoever else and whatever else in the fucking match! I just wanted to find fucking items! This bastard brought out the machine guns and the dogs. This is bullshit. I just wanted to get items. I know that they were waiting for me, but god damn it, I just wanted to make sure that we had enough. And why is this camera taking so many bullets? I'm wasting a magazine. It should only take one shot. Fuck, even Metal Gear Solid got this right. If the mastermind doesn't fucking abuse their authority, we may actually have a chance. But I don't trust many people playing Resistance because I can tell that some of them don't give a shit about being fair. But what I'm more concerned about are those goddamn network interruptions that are causing the entire match to be canceled and everybody to be kicked out just because the mastermind isn't there anymore. It would have been wiser to have the temporary host replaced by somebody else before the match is over just in case there's connectivity issue. Fuck! How did I lose five seconds? That's bullshit! I destroyed that thing! Not unless it had anything to do with anybody else getting hit. Wait a minute. Is this game implying that every time a character gets hit, they lose time? Huh? I'm being told that I could earn time for attacking and killing enemies, but somehow I lose time after being attacked by them. I'm deeply penalized just for being attacked and not for any other reason. You gotta be fucking kidding. This is ridiculous and could be exploited by cheaters. Don't forget to search his corpse for anything useful. Because that's not a weird thing to do at all. It's time for your fucking annoying commentary to stop. It's fucking invasive and not helpful. 
I just want to blow your fucking you brains out with this gun. Fuck! Do you think that would just be unlocked? Ha! Fuck you! No, fuck you, you piece of shit! I want to slam your goddamn face up against a fucking glass window and then slide the goddamn sharp edges across your whole neck! Holy shit! A fittingly brutal weapon for a brutal it doesn't matter how many goddamn weapons that we have in this match. As long as the mastermind is a piece of shit, we're not going to be able to survive. Especially by losing time every time we're fucking attacked! <sighs> if it were completely optional, I would be fine with that. Because it would be fitting in the context of the rules. But since we're deliberately being forced to reach to the exit and completing all of these puzzles with all these goddamn roadblocks in the way. I don't think that it's really a good idea to completely ignore the fact that we could easily fail by being attacked and thus losing the very one thing that we're supposed to be focused on. This shit is so unfair. That's like nullifying everybody's points in a team deathmatch when the timer reaches zero. I'm not suggesting that that is a complete deal breaker for me with this particular title, but I'm telling you, cheaters will exploit that. <sighs> I just want this to be over. Because I can tell that the longer that this goes on, we may not have a fighting chance to get the hell out of this alive. And the only thing that can make this worse is just... All right, that's confirmed that there's multiple liquors and we need to get the hell out of here before this mastermind decides to outsmart us and kill us! Uh, uh, why are you taking so many damn bullets? Just die! So many of you left. No food for the undead in this area. We get them hungry for you, in case you got this far. Well, too bad for you, because we made it this far and we're gonna reach the- oh, Fuck! Holy shit! Help! I'm being attacked! And on top of that, that son of a bitch locked the door! Fuck all this, I need to get the hell out of here. Where the fuck are my teammates? Yeah, yeah, just leave me behind to deal with all this shit. Let's just get the hell out of here, because it's too much. Goodbye. Fuck this. This is the third and last goddamn time you're gonna do this to us. I've had enough! We are going to leave this area alive. I don't give a shit what we have to do. I'm going to assure that we work together to leave this entire building alive because this is the world of survival horror and we will assure our survival rate. Oh, you left the bitches out again, huh? <laughs> well, let me tell you something. I've got a special present for them. I'm gonna fucking put them down because there's nothing else that you could do at this point that would make this match worse. I guarantee you we'll make it. Oh, no! <laughs> I want to kill you so fucking badly. How could you do this to me? Why? This is what I was talking about earlier with people using their fucking advantages to make the matches unfair, thus fucking ruining the whole goddamn point of being fair. Listen, I know that the mastermind that's being controlled by the player is independently deciding what the hell is happening to these characters, but we just started this final round, and I couldn't allow us to fucking fail after all that progress. This shit needs to stop now. You know what? Fuck this shit. You want to play unfair? I'll fucking show you unfair, you motherfucker! You son of a bitch! I'm gonna fucking kill all of you! I'm fed up with this shit! Fuck Mr. X! Fuck this tyrant! Fuck you! You cock-sucking motherfucking son of a bitch! I hate the sight of you after playing Resident Evil Survivor. Constantly being invaded by you because you can't leave me the fuck alone! Okay, take care of these liquors. How could you do this to me? Why? 
that's because we're trying to figure out where the hell the bio core's at, and we were being distracted by all the damn enemies. I'm trying to find these damn things, but you keep fucking putting roadblocks in the way. I wouldn't have to worry about these enemies if I already knew where the damn bio cores were. Here you go again! Damn it! Okay, I'm assuming that's one of the bio cores. But get off! Get it the fuck off me! See, look at that shit. We're already losing time! Get the fuck away from me! Piece of shit. Both of you. Both of you! Shit. I know I keep repeating it, but damn it, I'm telling you how it is. If the entire room were filled with enemies and traps, it would ruin the whole point of playing this damn game. If players are forced into situations that are completely inescapable, there's no point trying to play with anybody. The concept of resistance can work. But some of these things that penalize the players should be options. They shouldn't be set at default. Knowing that the masterminds have so many advantages makes it more discomforting. Because at any point they could exploit that and make it impossible to win. Alright my beloved teammates, let's finish this. Let's get the last bio core and get the hell out of here. I don't want that French bastard to throw any more curveballs at us. It's already bad enough he tried to kill us with Mr. X. I can't let that happen again. Mine, mine, mine. <laughs> fuck you all. No, fuck you. We're getting out of here. We're getting out of here, and I don't care what the fuck you throw at us now. No, not Mr. X again! I don't want to fight the T-0-0 again! No fuck this tyrant! And I don't have enough... <laughs> I don't want to fucking relive the memories of Resident Evil Survivor again because I don't want to fucking fight this stupid goddamn annoying tyrant again! <laughs> Fuck you! Yes! Open fire on this goddamn mastermind! If that fucker wasn't far away, I swear I'd fucking blow his brains out! Let's get out of here now! Fuck you! Double tap! Fuck you!